Lynch wins executive of the year, it's going to be because of Brock Purdy. Because this is the greatest, <laughs> potentially the greatest story of all time. He just might be the first rookie to win a Super Bowl. It's looking like he has a realistic shot to do it. And what's great about this is it's such a great story that um, everyone around, like, the nation, the football world is going to try to get a piece of it. And you're going to hear a bunch of frauds over the next couple of weeks be like, you know, I was there. I saw it. You know, I, I could tell that Brock Purdy was great. I didn't say anything. I didn't tweet anything, but I knew. And I want to go back and tell you what I saw. I was there. A lot of people were there. One person saw this. One person had the courage and conviction to basically shout it to anyone that was listening, no matter how many eye rolls he got. It was Larry Kruger, and I want to make sure everyone knows that because this is a very important moment for a lot of sports journalists, and the person that should be getting the credit is freaking Larry. So let's just take a minute to acknowledge what Larry did. Congra not congratulations. I'm just very impressed. Well <laughs> I've been done. wrong well before. Done. I've been wrong before. No, but I like the player. Everyone I did. has been wrong before. I did. I'll say this, though. I didn't like it on draft day. Like when Me I saw neither. it on draft day and I saw it yeah. across the scroll, I was like, oh, my God, really? Mm -hmm. Because I watched yeah. Iowa State, and I remember him kind of being more of a little, little bit of a smaller guy, soft tosser. Didn't I didn't think he had an NFL arm. I didn't think he had NFL stature. I thought they were drafting for the practice squad in round seven. I'm like, that is too cute. But, but, but they knew more. They were and drafting then, you know, their franchise I'll tell you quarterback. What I'm, in the, Just what I'm looking for, I, yeah. I am on a mission this week to go find the guy who told who first got on John Lynch's radar, the road scout who said, no, John, this isn't good. This guy's great. This, you know, yeah. somebody in their room banged the table for Brock Purdy, and I am going to find out who banged the table for Brock Purdy, and I'm giving them their flowers because that's the guy that really deserves. I just recognized that it was a good pick in the aftermath. But I'll tell you what I saw is that accurate, tough, smart, humble, um, fat you know short area fast not quite mm -hmm. not not long speed but mm -hmm. short area fast like Mahomes. i know you're gonna make you laugh on that one no, no, that's fine. like tua yeah i mean like he tua. can sprint for five yard for five you know steps yeah. and it, it's pretty yeah. explosive and, and he, then and he has nice touch on his deep throw and then the other thing is the ball coming out on time is the number one thing of being a quarterback and there's all different ways to do it and I just thought when I I thought when I saw this guy in camp, he was going to need everything to just yeah. happen perfect for him for the ball to come out on time. And then I started watching him in minicamp, and I realized the ball comes out on time all the time with Brock Purdy. So, um, you know, and then and then when I got a chance to meet him this summer um, when they opened up the locker room. And I saw, man, this guy is humble. He's smart. He's tough. He's driven. He comes from a family of athletes. He's mm -hmm. He understands exactly who he is and where he is and uh, how fortunate he is to be where he's at. Um, and, you know, I'll say this. You were, you're down there every week. I am too. This week, if he couldn't play, or last week, I should say, if he couldn't play, we would have had the feeling in that room would have been way, way different than what it actually was. The feeling in the room, if he couldn't play is man, you know, the season's over. They wouldn't say it necessarily, but they would, there'd be guys whispering about, man, the injury bug just got us down this year. Just another year where the injury bug just got, they would be looking beyond Sunday, even if they weren't, but instead there was like this bounce in the room. There's this confidence with the Niners. Why? Because every guy in that room knows that they got just as good a chance of winning the Super Bowl today as they did when they had Jimmy in there, if not better. And they're not, and and they know they're kind of in an underdog role now too. So um, I don't know what I what you got out of it, but that's what I got out of it. Yeah, you're on a roll right now. I got like, a question for this you. Guy's I got, you're the on a roll. Deal. I got a question for you. What is this man's ceiling? Because we see he's pro ready. He's experienced. He's he's got a really good team around him. It's a great marriage. Because clearly the Niners didn't want a project. This this locker room runs the team. They get what they want. They don't want a project. They want someone that's ready to go because they're a, a win now team. They got one now in Brock Purdy. What's his ceiling though? Is this a guy who could be a franchise quarterback? What do you think? That is the, that is the ultimate question. And it's it, even though I like him, and even though I've talked, you know, you know, I'm I may have been on him before others. 
you know, I, I just was saying he's a viable NFL quarterback. Sure. Sure. Now, is he a championship caliber quarterback? I'll say this. The ball that he threw to Ayuk hung. And if you throw too many balls that hang in the NFL, there's a lot of picks coming. But as far as what is really quarterback about, it's about getting to the line of scrimmage, getting the team into and out of the right plays, um, and having the ball come out on time, and then having the other 10 guys in the huddle believe in you. And so there's leadership, there's toughness, there's you have to be really, really smart. I think he's really, really smart. He may he's never gonna have like the Joe Flacco, Terry Bradshaw, top of the scale arm, nope. Mahomes. He doesn't have that kind of nope. gun, but he's got. In fact, it's on the lower end. Arm. It's on the lower. If you if you would say if there is an average in the NFL, you would say that the velocity would be below average. Although it doesn't be, it doesn't seem to be a problem yet. Yeah. There's no. But what things. I what he has is the ability to see the field, yep. throw with anticipation, yep. and throw with accuracy. Yep. And he's got awesome weapons. And an incredible play caller, and all they got to yep. do, you know, week thirteen against Miami. I think I, the stat I saw Grant was the ball came out in two point six seven seconds, and it was like among the lowest in the entire league in week thirteen. If they can focus on that, get dial up that clock because he can't take the running two hundred eighty five pound, um, you know, Rashawn Gary bearing into him and get up. This guy's you got to respect the fact that he's a little bit smaller. But, uh, but he's tough and he's smart. Yeah, I think they can win with him. I Yes, I think he's a starting NFL quarterback who can win a Super Bowl. All right, let me answer my question. Since you're not going to give me a straight answer on his ceiling. I like <laughs> him. I think his ceiling is Tua, who is a freaking MVP candidate right now. I, know, I don't know if Tua is ever going to win a Super Bowl. And maybe he would if he were on the 49ers. But I've seen Tua. Tua's good. Now, the Niners made him look bad, but a pass rush can do that when you're going up against, I mean, Mahomes looked bad in the Super Bowl when he didn't have his offensive tackle. So give Tua a break. And I know he struggled this week, too. But still, what Tua has is he's pretty quick. He can improvise. He was very decisive, very accurate, aggressive down the field, touch. He's the left. He's the, left, he's the right-handed Tua. And, and I, to me, that's a compliment. Um, that's a, You can see what Tua is accomplishing this year. Just saying. I like that was a first round more pick. than Tua. I like him more than Tua. Okay. I I um I, I would say um because Tua almost looks like a little uh, so someone called him a front runner. He seems like he folds if there's a little bit of pressure. This guy's a little salty, Brock. I think. Well, I mean, and I'm wor- I guess I'd be a little worried about Tua durability wise because he's had yeah, good so point. many injuries. But no, I to me, I had a, a old old scouting buddy, and I won't say his name. But I said, give me a comp on him, and I said I threw out Kirk Cousins and some yeah, other yeah. name. You know, I like what he – he's very calm. He reminds me a little bit of Rodgers and this and that. He said mini Joe Burrow. Hmm. Mini Joe Burrow. Mini Joe Burrow. Okay. Now, well, the question is, do you like Joe Burrow more than you like Tua? Some people do. Some people don't. But there's some – and and I said, why? Why mini Burrow's Joe Burrow? He goes, there's some, there's some magic. A there's a little magic to Joe Burrow. And he's like, okay. you know what? I think this, I think Purdy's got a little bit of – It's in terms of his temperament. The field. In terms of his temperament. And the, and well, no, okay. as, as in terms of he sees things ahead of time, he sees okay. how they're going to develop. He th- he throws with great accuracy, but anticipation. But he he does have to step into it and use all of his his, his lower body. But he sees it ahead of time, so his footwork in the short game is impeccable, and then his ability to step into his throws with consistency. Like Nick Mullins was not bad when he stepped into his throws, but. I would say, a, you know, 40% of his throws, he's throwing off his back foot and backwards. And uh, Purdy doesn't, he's, he's throws with a solid base and he throws, he's getting mechanics are way better than Mullins. Well, if he's a mini Joe Burrow, um, he should they be got a shot to win a Super Bowl, right? 